Hey everybody, Hooterville75 with Midnight to Ferocious Sissy bringing you another video from the Swamp Pit. I haven't put any videos up lately as I've been going through, I don't know what you would call it, I guess a lack of confidence or fear of intimidation where you run into a part of the kit where you have to do something you've never done before or you run into a part of instructions where you don't understand the instructions and I get a roadblock and then sit and ponder it and have a fear of intimidation of doing anything further with the kit because you either don't understand or you don't know how to do something has anybody ever faced that and if so what is your what is your method of getting through that it seems like the more I try to do with armor and tanks the more it seems to be intimidating to me like the race cars, the NASCARs, the sprint cars, the Indy cars, you know, any car model I've built, I have no problems with, you know, the NASCAR sprint cars or Indy cars to where I've built a couple tank armor armor and tank kits that went flawless and now the kits that I've been into lately with my camp pans are Leopard and my T3476 by Tamiya, which should probably be run-of-the-mill kits, I'm running into problems with. So, have you ever had that occur, and if so, what was your method of getting through that? Other than that, I really haven't had time to do anything, as the little one is into her her prime peak of sporting, of sporting seasons, to where I'm running rampant with her. Um, we have high school basketball we have two sessions of indoor soccer which just keep us running every night of the week so I don't really have time to do anything the few hours I do get I sit down here pondering you know what can I do next and then hit the roadblock to where I don't know I don't know what to do so I would like to get back into the full swing of things building every day that I get the time to and am looking for a couple of aircraft tank armor kits that are standard run-of-the-mill you know your your ten-year-old could build them to kinda get back into the swing of things to build a couple kits to kinda get my mojo back to where I'm confident and can get back into the full full swing of things so if you have any ideas of how to get through this or any kits that you feel would be run of the mill that you could breeze right through, please send them, send them my way in either a PM or a comment and I'll be more than happy to get these kits and get back into the swing of things again. So I'm more into the, you know, what it takes to understand these instructions and how to get through this intimidation factor of if I have to try something new, of how to get through that intimidation factor of to just do it and, you know, I guess do it, and if it's wrong, throw the kid away. I don't know. But Mark O'Neill, I wanted to comment. I really like that last, I really like that last uh, tank you redid with the plaster of Paris techniques for your mud. I wanted to get into that and actually bought this complete, huge tub of plaster in Paris I just haven't once again got the balls to do it so maybe we can talk and you can explain your theory and your technique of how you did it and I can try it from there so all right enough jibber jabber Hooterville 75 with midnight to ferocious sissy coming to you from the swamp pit see you now